Hey everyone, I uh, got a few new countersinking bits to work a little bit better than the last one I was using so I can finish the rest of the three uh, laundrons that need countersinking. There's Noah, he keeps bringing his ball to me so I can throw it for him. Noah, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where is it? Can you get it for me? So I'm going to keep working on um, this particular laundron right here. I'm going to go ahead and countersink that down. I went ahead and over the last few days, been sneaking out here for an hour, so at the time I didn't film any of it, but I did drill it all up to the, the 40 size. I went ahead and countersank all the, or sorry, excuse me, dimple dyed all the pieces I could and drove those rivets in just to get them done. And uh, everything now is dimple dyed, ready to go, and it's pre painted uh, for the. Um, oops, there you go. It's pre painted now, so um, it'll have the corrosion protection. So I'll go ahead and do some countersinking on this. And then uh, with the new bits, uh, I've got a 40 size here. They're all sorts of different sizes. I got them as a kit of five of them for about uh, $50, including shipping. And uh, so now I'm going to go keep working on that. I got this side completely riveted. Again, you don't do this section until later when you uh, put the turtle deck on. This is upside down right now. I'm leaving this section unriveted, but all pre-drilled and, and pre-dimple dyed and countersunk. Because I have to be able to drill 3 16 inch holes right here through uh, the laundrons and the different gussets to hold it all together. So I'll wait to do that till a little bit later. I uh, put the uh, skin on the bottom on one more time to see if it was still fitting properly. It is. Uh, some places it has just the tiniest bit of width, but it's okay because you can push it over and make it completely flush before you drill your hole here. So it's looking really, really good. I'm going to clean up the shop now because I have a, a friend from El Paso coming over tomorrow to take a look at the airplane. He's building a 1X and um, I want it to look nice when he gets here. So thanks for watching and I'll talk, uh, do some more videos after Christmas. One last thing, uh, my wife came out and she helped me flip it over one more time. And uh, so it's now properly uh, you know, level or upside right. Um, I went ahead and put this metal bar back in and I put in these um, metal, I think they call them gussets, on all the spots so I know what I'm going to be working on next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drill these properly which require 3 16 inch holes and uh, heavy duty bolts, and then bolts will go through. Uh, they're pretty cool because they go across and they attach to the laundron, uh, through the skin, through the laundron, through the gusset, and then there are bolts, and then this particular piece goes and attaches to this upper crossbar right here, as well as attaching, I believe, I'll find out later, to um, these upper turtle deck pieces that will attach for strength of the entire thing back way through. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, so we keep uh, cleaning up the shop so it'll look nice for tomorrow and go from there. Thanks for watching.